Hey guys, it is me again, as you can see. Today is, uh, where's my pop-up? Today is Friday, March the 1st. Make it day 60. We're going to have a bread project 2013. Guys, as always, as always, it is good here tonight. Uh, good to be here. You know, we've got a pretty good little snow going here again. So I'm just glad everything's on. Matter of fact, my direct PV's not even in right now. Satellite reception's gone. Just just cause my satellite's covered with snow and I gotta knock it off. But anyway, guys, it is good to be here tonight. Um uh, trying to think if there's any significant jibber jabber. Uh, not really. Uh, I just want to uh let me think, I'm sure I don't have any jibber jabber. I nothing of real important. I just want to thank uh, Brother Richard, NC Auto Man. Uh, thank you, brother, for sending your message, checking up on me. I'm going to answer you back on the computer, but I, I figure you'll see this. I was going to tell you that, too. Uh, and the reason I do that, guys, the reason I, I tell you, a lot of times I'll say your guys' username and name is because I think just using your, your regular name, you know, if I know it, it's more personal. And, and the reason I say both of them is because, you know, like, well, just for instance, like with Richard there, I've got several Richards that watch me. I know of two that I, you know, uh, in Seattle Man Richard and in my Bad Voodoo Richard. So, you know, I, I kind of try to differentiate that way when I just say, hey, Richard, this, somebody, you know, you know, you guys know who I'm talking about. Uh, so anyway, uh, thank you for your message. Uh, or again, Brother John, Jeff Chance, um, I'll try my best to get those pictures to you tomorrow of the shop. I've been so busy the last day or two. I've been sick in my stomach. As a matter of fact, I just uh, tonight I've been fighting. My stomach's been hurting and sick at it and everything. And uh, I'll get you those pictures one way or another. If I can't find any stuck in this computer somewhere, I've got thousands and thousands and thousands of pictures and videos and stuff stuck on top of each other. And you know just. I'm pretty sure I've got some pictures in this computer somewhere. I just got to find which which file they're in, you know, which folder. So I'll get them to you one way or another, brother. Try my best tomorrow. By Monday, anyway, I'll have them to you. So anyway, what else? I guess that's about it, guys. I just I need to get this bit in, I guess. Uh, get off here so I can get in the bed. It's kind of late. Like I said, my stomach's bothering me. So, you know, I, I didn't, I didn't want to not make it. So... Guys, let's get to the important part tonight, and that is, of course, the Word of God. Oh, praise the Lord. Uh, had a good enough week this week that I didn't get to draw a paycheck today, so I praise the Lord for that. You know, some people may look at that kind of goofy as me doing that, telling you guys, bragging when he does, when he don't. You know, anymore, especially, guys, everything we get from the Lord. I mean, everything we get from him is a blessing anyway, but I mean, he wants us to thank him for it, and I do thank him for it. And I think by telling other people you're thank you're really thanking him, you're showing your appreciation. So I do appreciate the Lord for everything he's did for us this week. So, having said that, let's go on tonight, guys. Revelation chapter 17, starting in verse 11. Whew. Trying to sweat. Uh, my aunt from, from Indianapolis is, is here with us. I don't know if she's going to go back tomorrow. She's been here about a week. Uh... They sleep in the A-frame part of the house, and uh, it tends to stay a little cooler in there than it does back here in these bedrooms. Well, to keep that part of the house in there at 72 degrees, let's say, this part back here stays 75, 76. Well, she tends to freeze, and my other aunt that lives with us all the time tends to freeze too, so when they're here... They tend to crank the heat on up to like 75. So that puts it like 78, 79, 80 degrees back here sometimes with me. And I, whew, I just burn up so that I can't really stand it. Uh, matter of fact, I had long handles on, long johns today at work. And when I got home while I go, I had to shed them. I mean, it was so hot back here, I was burning up. So uh, anyway, guys, let's get on with the with the video, the important part. All right, guys, set. Revelation chapter 17, verse 11. Here we go. As for the beast that was and is not, it is an eighth, but it belongs to the seven, and it goes to destruction. And ten horns that you saw are ten kings who have not 
yet received royal power, but they are to receive authority as kings for one hour, together with the beast. These are of one mind, and they hand over their power and authority to the beast. They will make war on the Lamb, and the Lamb will conquer them, for he is Lord of lords and King of kings. And those with him are called, excuse me, are called and chosen and faithful. And the angel said to me, The waters that you saw were the prostitute seed are peoples and multitudes and nations and languages. And the ten horns that you saw, they and the beast will hate the prostitute. They will make her desolate and naked and devour her flesh and burn her up with fire. For God has put it into their hearts to carry out his purpose by being one mind, excuse me, of one mind, and handing over the royal power to the beast until the words of God are fulfilled. And the woman that you saw is a great city that has dominion over the kings of the earth. And guys, I know that that's only about seven or eight verses, but that's where I'm going to stop tonight because I want to make a clean break. I don't want to go ahead and go into verse, excuse me, chapter 18 because it kind of starts something new, you know, another seeing something else, another vision from John. So, uh, I mean, it's part of the same vision. He just kind of starts, and I saw another angel in uh, chapter 18, I believe, is how it starts. Let me see. Yep. So, anyway, guys. Thanks for being here tonight. As always, I love you guys. If you need to know anything, if you guys need anything, as always, let me know. Don't hesitate. Uh, thank you guys for checking in on me. Thank you guys for not giving up on me. I love you all. Good Lord willing, guys. I'll be here tomorrow night until I see you all again. Good night, and God bless.